All right. So here we go. So a secant is a ray or a line or a segment that intersects a circle at two points. So these are both secants of the circle. And they go through all this proof of how this angle is the same size as half of this plus this. And so I will go through those formulas here in a second because we have four formulas today. And the formulas are also on the big white cards in the front of the room. Okay? They're right here. Here's our inscribed angle that we had the quiz over today. Angle C is one half of AB, arc AB. This angle here is half of this. Okay? So, our first one is, if you take angle one, if angle one, if two secants or two chords cross on the inside of the circle, the angle formed on the inside of the circle equals one half of this arc plus this arc added up. So you take this arc, arc X, added to this arc, arc Y. If you add those two arcs, add them up and divide by two, that's what this angle is. So, let me do that. This is a 120 degree arc. This is a 110 degree arc. How big is angle X? Well, angle X equals one half of 110 plus 120. 110 plus 120 is 230. Half of that is 115. So this angle is 115. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Add them up and divide by two. Okay. Now, that's for if the angle is on the inside of the circle. Inside, we add. Outside, we're going to subtract. Outside, we're going to subtract. So if angle one's on the outside of the circle, we take one half of B minus A. Big arc minus little arc. One half of big arc minus little arc. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay? All we do is subtract. So, if this is 84 and this is 46, let's figure out how big this angle way back here is. So angle X is one half of the big arc minus the little arc. So it's one half of 84 minus 46 is like 38. Doing math in my head, right? 38. And half of 38 is 19. This angle is 19 degrees, okay? One half of the big arc minus the little arc. So if they cross inside the circle, you add them. If they cross outside the circle, you subtract them, or if the, if the angle is on the outside of the circle. Now here's a cool one. You've got a tangent line and a secant line. Well, still, what are we doing? We are subtracting because the angle is where? On the outside of the circle. So if the angle's on the outside of the circle, we subtract. Okay. Here's two tangents. What are we doing? The angle's on the outside of the circle, so we subtract. The big one minus the little one. It's always big minus little. Because if you took little minus big, you'd have a negative number. And is there any such thing as a negative angle? No, there's no negative angle. So, pretty easy stuff today, right? And we're just doing a half a section because the other half a section talks about lengths of lines. We'll talk about lengths of lines on Tuesday. Okay? So, here we go. How big is angle A, B, D? And angle A, B, D is angle B. The middle letter. You use the middle letter to say what an angle is. All right. What don't we know? 
We need to know the two arcs on the inside of the angle, right? We don't really care about this, but it's going to help us. But we need to know arc AC, right? How in the world are we going to figure out what arc AC is? Well, how many degrees are in a circle? 360. So if you take 360 minus 151 minus 139, what do we get? Sounds good to me. So that arc is 70. Now we can do our formula. Angle B is one half of the big arc, 151, minus a little arc of 70. Now, we don't care about this one because that's outside of the angle. Okay? We only used it so we could figure out what 70 was. Okay? But we use the big arc minus a little arc. So, one half of 81. Half of 81 is 40.5. There we go. Angle ABD. Oh, no. What do we have here? We have algebra. Okay. Angle J equals one half of 6x plus 6 minus 3x minus 5. We got to do some algebra there. So how big is angle J? 34, right? Equals one half of, what's six X minus three X? Three X. Six minus a negative five. Minus a negative is plus a positive. So six plus five is 11. Now, if you take half of three and half of 11, you get fractions, right? If there were even numbers, it, we'd just distribute the half through. I don't want to mess with fractions. So how can I get rid of my fraction? Multiply both sides by 2. So we get 68 equals 3x plus 11. Now I don't have any fractions because I just got rid of it because I multiplied it by 2. Okay? Now we just subtract. Minus 11. So 57 equals 3x divided by 3. x equals 19. So once you get 19, plug the 19 in there because it says what is the measure of angle or arc LM. So 6 times 19 plus 6. So 6 times 19 is like 100 and... Uh, 14 plus 6 is 120. Did I do that right? Okay. Sounds good. What's the measure of arc WX? So let's put an X out there. Saying, what is it? Well, it, the angle's on the inside, right? So 107 equals one half of 74 plus X. Again, I don't want to mess with fractions. How do we get rid of that fraction in front? Kenny Smith? By, multiply by two. So we get 214 equals these cancel 74 plus X. And then just subtract 74. So I get 140 equals X. All right. Now, this one's yours. I'm not going to tell you how to do this one because we've already done one like this. Okay? Do it on your own. Do it on your own for a second. I'm going to give you like a minute to do this.
So when it asks for angle PSQ, that's angle S. How big is angle S? Okay, I don't want to know the answer yet. I want to know the process of how you get to the answer. So, what was the first step that you did, Jenny, to try to find your answer? Jenny took 360 minus 152 minus 126, and what'd she get on her calculator? 82. Okay, that's the first step. You want to subtract so you can find that missing arc. Okay, once you find that missing arc, then you set up the formula. How did you set up your formula, Lilith? One half of 152 minus 82, which is one half of 70. What's one half of 70, Angel? Thirty-five, and that's what we want for an answer. Thirty-five is what you should have gotten. Okay. All right. Last problem, and then I'll hand out the worksheet because we're just doing a worksheet today. We're not doing Savas, just a worksheet instead. All right. JK is sixty-nine. So this arc right here is sixty-nine. KL, this little arc in here is forty-four. LM is 163. So how do I find JM? What would you do, Caden? If you knew this was 69, this was 44, and this was 163? Add them up. Okay, so if we add them up, um, we get 113 plus 163 is 200. And 76, right? Okay, 276. What does that get us? Now what do we need to know? Trevor, what do we need to know? Taylor, Trevor. No, you're Trevor. You're Trevor. Okay, you you just sat motionless for a second, so I thought I thought, called you the wrong arms, brother. Okay, Trevor, what does that 276 do for us? We need to take 360 and subtract 276. And then we get um, like 84. And that's what JM is. Then what do we do with that 84 semitroxyl? Put in the formula. What's my formula? Yep. And so that's one half of 40. And what is half of 40? Savannah? 20. And that's what our angle is. Okay? So hopefully you guys can do that now. Hopefully that's enough exercises to help you out. So you will have a worksheet and you'll get that done for next class. And then we'll move on from this next time.